Okay, again, this non-vegetable gardener is going to try tomatoes this year. So, I'm just going to show you my tomato plant. I planted an early girl, and she has a couple of blossoms on her right now. So, we've got her in a big, giant tub with a green pepper. I got one of the Bonnie plant green peppers. And we have her stand already in there, the support, anticipating that she's going to get a lot, lot bigger. But I don't have a lot of success with vegetables. So we've put uh, the tomato food in there. It looks like the pepper has evidence of a little bit of blossoms, maybe about ready to get started there. Let's hope so. But I've got that ready. We're just basically getting the deck back populated from having to move everything inside to have it painted. But I've got a few of my pots out. That one's doing really, really well. I like the looks of it. Quite a few pots out. But this one, I'm, I've got big hopes. Now for me, a planter of vegetables is a real challenge. Let me show you my flowers that I'm real proud of. I bought it with flowers, so let me see. I think I paid like um, $4 at Lowe's for these, and maybe it was $4 for the pepper, too. So hopefully they're in good enough shape to grow nicely this year. Now, the pepper I bought, it was a four-lobed pepper. Now, they taught us in classes at Master Gardeners that there was a difference between the lobes at the bottom. Now, whether that's an old wife's tail or not, I don't know. But the four lobes at the bottom indicate a sweet pepper that you use when you're going to use pepper for something raw because they're sweet and crisp. And the ones that are three lobes are the ones that you use for cooking because you're going to cook those and they don't necessarily have to be crisp. But that's what I look for when I go to the grocery to buy a pepper. And I saw this one labeled as a four lobe. I'll get that um, little plant sticker and show you what it said. But that's what I use. I cook with the three lobe and um, do my raw salads and things like that in dips with the four lobed. But this is my vegetable garden. We're getting ready to plant up the onions. And these here onions that I have ready in a pot are just the ends that where we bought green onions and popped them down into the soil. But I'm gonna put them in a regular pot and I'll show you that process in just a moment. Today, I'm going to complete my entire vegetable garden. I showed you the um, tomatoes and green peppers first, but this is going to be the remainder, my onions. Now the onions, I grow from the kitchen scraps. These particular onions here, I bought a package of the, uh, of the green onion sprouts. And tonight, I'm using green onions in a recipe so all I'm going to do is just harvest. I'll take all these green onion sprouts. I have a special recipe that's a favorite, and I have it back on the blog. It's cavatappi, which is basic macaroni and cheese, but we just make it with cavatappi um, pasta, and it makes big, nice corkscrew bites of macaroni pasta and it's delicious. We use the green onions all diced up in it with cheese, evaporated milk, but it's a delicious pasta side dish for a steak cookout or something like that. But I'm not a cooking channel, but that is for my recipe tonight. It all came free from the grocery store. I bought my first section. I did this last year. You know I grew onions last year. It was very successful. So I'm continu continuing that this year. I've got a pot prepared to put over by my vegetable garden. And I have included my Osmocote into the mix. 
It just takes about a tablespoon and a half for this size of a container. This one's for both flowers and vegetables. And now, let me fill up the container. I've already got the drainage holes in this one. Since it will be outside, we definitely need drainage holes. And this is a recycled planter. It's a nice big crock planter, very heavy, but we will put it on some rollers out there on the deck, kind of elevate it so it won't have to touch the wood. And I've got all this put in. And I'm going to get it mostly to the top because um, I realize I don't really need that much, but I may add a little sprig here of um, thyme or something like that along with the onions. We do like um, cilantro, so maybe I will add a little sprig of that along with the onions. Okay, okay now let me dig the onions out. And they probably will have grown a little small onion down in there. Let me reach down in there. Oh, yep. Yeah. Sorry, big mess. That's what they look like. So basically, you have the same thing that you go buy at the grocery store. But I'm just going to replant these down in here. Let me get them all out. And then we'll replant. Okay, after that little mishap and the dirt flying, here's the onions that we've got. And you can see their root growth. So if I wanted to leave them, I could leave them in there and have a full-blown onion. But we, right now, we're in love with Fidelia onions, those sweet onions. So these are the ones I use when I need a small green onion. And you saw that I harvested my supper. Now all I'm gonna do with these is just stick them back in the ground. Now when, when you have yours cut, it'll probably look like that, where you get them from the grocery store. Just take them and poke them in the ground, just like that, and bunch the soil up around them. And that's really all you do. And you'll have a great big growth of onions because they just, but in the next couple of days, these will sprout. Let me try to get his little tendrils down in there. He works so hard on his roots. I think that one looks like a he. Okay, now. Now, if you eat onions a lot, you might want to plant a lot more than this. And we eat, eat probably need to harvest these a couple times a week for our onions. Either throw them in, in a salad or if you've made a soup or meatloaf or something like that, something that you want to throw green onions in, even like for scrambled eggs at breakfast. You just need a little bit, don't want to run to the grocery store. If you have them in your garden, and those of you who have your big acre gardens and everything, I envy you, but I'm not good at vegetables, and I'm so proud of myself that I can grow these onions. I am just proud as a peacock. So there is my onion crop. And then I have my bunch for supper tonight. But this is going to go out on the patio next to my tomatoes. And that's my onion crop for the year. It'll grow more and more. The more I cut it, the more it grows back. Okay, here is my garden. My tomatoes, my green peppers, and my onions. I think I might get one more pot because Having everything in threes, that's feng shui, right? So I will get another pot and we'll put a few herbs in it. Cilantro, um, I don't know, dill, it depends. We'll figure out what we want to do. Maybe oregano, something like that. But this is my vegetable garden for the year. Wish me luck. Thanks for watching.